This demonstration focuses on automation and the capabilities of Ribbon's Muse domain orchestration. While automation has a lot of facets to it, this demonstration will focus on automation constructed using a workflow engine. Workflow can be looked at in three main building blocks. There are triggers, tasks, and flows. A trigger is a way of initiating a flow. These are based on events occurring such as an alarm or a state change in a network entity or on a predetermined basis from a user-defined scheduler. Users can also initiate flows manually. The next building block is a task. A task is basically any action. It could be to retrieve information from or update a database, query the status or make changes to a network element, initiate a verification routine, invoke a path computation, reroute a service, and so on. Many tasks are pre-installed with the system, and additional ones can be created using a tasks designer. Last but not least is the flow. A flow is a set of tasks running in sequence once the trigger is activated. Flows can also be created as a decision tree with conditioned actions based on network or system status or as the result of a test. As with tasks, many flows are also pre-installed with the system. Additional flows can be created using a workflows designer. In this particular demo, we receive a loss of frame alarm on an optical connection. The automated workflow is used to determine whether the problem is at site one, site two, or within the network. While there are many small housekeeping steps the workflow needs to take, its main elements are as follows. As a first step, it shuts off the lasers. The workflow then performs a loopback test at site one. Since a backward indicator signal is received, we know the problem is not there. The workflow then repeats this at site two. Since a backward indicator signal is also received there, we know the problem is in the network and it is referred for further investigation. So now, on to the demo. This demonstration shows how Muse uses an automated workflow to help an operator troubleshoot a loss of frame alarm that has occurred in the optical network. The alarm section shows that the LOF alarm raised in Site 2 results in a backward defect indication, or BDI alarm, in Site 1. We start by selecting the desired troubleshooting workflow and directing it onto which network elements and ports to operate. When a loss of frame alarm is raised, it is likely that the network optical connection is severely degraded or one of the far end optical transmitters is malfunctioning. The workflow will help the network operator locate the alarm root cause by running a predefined set of tests. We now see the workflow come up. As a first step, the service endpoints are populated and the lasers are turned off. The workflow now starts to analyze whether the problem is at site one by activating its laser and performing a loopback test and forcing a BDI signal at that site. Since we receive a backward indicator signal, we can determine the problem is not with site one. The sleep box resets the alarms and allows the system to settle. Before moving on to Site 2, we first stop the loopback at Site 1 and once again turn off its laser. We now repeat the procedure at Site 2. We see the loopback and BDI signal are activated. Since we also receive a backward indicator signal here, we can also determine the problem is not with Site 2. Before proceeding, we stop the loop back at the site and turn off its laser. The workflow has determined that the loss of frame alarm is not being caused by transmitter problems at either Site 1 or 2. This means that the problem is in the network, which requires a separate investigation.